question 1a, draw one line from each disease to the type of microorganism that causes it. We can see the diseases are there on the left and the types of microorganism are on the right. Now, what this question highlights to us is the importance of making sure we cover the entire specification with our revision. Because it's not just human diseases involved in this question, there's actually a plant disease too at the top there, rose black spot. Now, clearly this is quite a straightforward question. However, we still need to be very careful with our answer in terms of making sure our line connectors are very clear and also we're not making any silly mistakes. So, we'll start off with rose black spot. That is a fungus, so we'll draw a nice clear line from that to fungus. Salmonella, that is caused by bacterium, so it goes down there to bacterium. Measles is a virus, so we'll draw a straightish line across like that. Then the malaria is a protozoan. Now, once you've completed the answer, go back through each one, checking to make sure you have done it correctly, you haven't made any silly mistakes. So, rose black spot fungus, yes. Salmonella bacterium, yes. Measles virus, yes. Malaria protozoan, yes. All those lines are very clear. There's no kind of ambiguity about those lines. Therefore, we score all three marks. Now, part B is a complete the sentence question, and we're choosing answers from the box. Now, there are more words in the box than there are spaces, so again, we can't use process of elimination. We've got to actually think what is the best word for each particular space. So, mosquitoes are vectors because they spread the malarial pathogen. It's important to realise there that the mosquitoes aren't um, hosts in that case. They are the vectors because they're spreading the malarial pathogen. That's a potential um, kind of misconception that you could lose a mark for there. The mosquitoes are also parasites. This shows us that when we're classifying things in bacteria, it's not like any particular organism is only one thing. So yes, it plays a role as a vector, but also as a parasite. Now they feed on living organisms. This is where we use the word host here because parasites feed on hosts. Those three correct words score the three marks available for this question.